Finance Secretary Benjamin Diokno warns of a fiscal collapse if the government does not overhaul the military pension system. Diokno revealed that the Marcos administration will push for reforms in the pension of soldiers and other uniformed personnel since the current setup is unsustainable. The finance chief explained that retired personnel are getting an average monthly pension of 40,000 pesos. That's nine times higher than what other government workers are receiving from the social security system. So there will come a time when uh, the the current budget will only be about a third, one third or one fourth of the money that we will that we're paying for the pensioners. Okay, so we have to really address that issue. It's not sustainable, and I said if this goes on, there will be a fiscal collapse. For one, Diokno said that they want to require all active military personnel and new entrants to contribute to their pension funds. He also proposed to remove the indexation of pensions to the salary of active personnel of similar rank. Secretary Diokno is also pushing to raise the age of those who can receive their pensions from 56 to 57 years old. Right now, the situation is so, so, so bleak, for example, that if you compare the current operating expenditures or maintenance and operating expenditures of the whole AFP and the capital outlays, so the money they buy for airplanes, etc., etc., it is actually uh, much less than, uh, than the amount of pension that we are allocating for the retirees. And when asked about proposal or the proposal for pension reforms, Armed Forces Spokesperson Colonel Medela Aguilar said that it is still too early to talk about it. 